Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got done with the live stream and I wanted to show you what I got from Sticky Holster. As you guys know, I'm a Sticky Holster fanatic. I love Sticky Holsters. I've had a regular Sticky Holster as my everyday carry uh, holster for going on God, about five, six years. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I've been trying out the We The People holsters, um, the Kydex one, it's pretty good, I like that too. And I switch between those two. If I'm at the day at the range, I'll wear my leather holster that was custom made for me by Reeves Customs Holster. Love that one. But that's more of like an all day, outside the waistband, kind of show off because it's a badass holster, kind of holster. So Sticky Holster, they sent me this one. This is made for, for safety check for my Springfield Armory XDM Elite 3.8 um, with my hex sight. So my red dot sight, my RMR. So, so let's check this out. Comes in a little plastic. All right, check this out. This, there's an OR9, which for the big um, full-size guns, like uh, five inch. Um, there's the OR7 which is for this one which this should fit right in oh look at that oh man like a glove like a glove and then there is the or5 and that's for kind of the subcompact small ones but check this out guys look at the fit and finish on this look at that it fits this gun absolutely perfect Goes in. There you go. Oh man. Now, if you don't know anything about sticky holsters, it takes just a little bit of pressure, and this will not come out no matter what. I mean, I'm barely holding it, and it won't come out. But if you grab it, it covers the whole trigger. There's no trigger. So if it's in your side, you just grab it, it comes right out goes right in it's nice now the big beef against sticky holsters is you have to take the holster out to reholster the firearm that's not a big deal to me because if you take this out to shoot and you shoot the last thing you're gonna be worried about is reholstering it so you shoot take the holster out put it in stick it back in your waistband easy peasy um, but when it's in your waistband, it covers the entire trigger. You can't accidentally hit the trigger. And it just, man, this is nice. All right, so I'm going to use this for about two weeks, okay? Um, and then I'll, I'll give my review. So two weeks from now, I'll give you my review. Well guys, I actually tested this for almost four weeks, but what I really like about this pistol is how it just holds uh, with just very little retention. You can see here, I put it in and I can slide it forward, appendix, I can slide it to the rear. It's super easy to manipulate, but once it's in there, it's in there. You know, I didn't mention this either, but I've worn these with uh, basketball shorts, sweatpants. Heck, man, I've thrown these on with no belt many times. Um, and I, I don't even worry about it moving around. Most of the times I forget it's in. I've fallen asleep on the couch a few times with it. Once it's in, it doesn't move. Taking the holster out to reholster it and putting it back in, really for me is not a big deal. If it's a big deal for you, please, this isn't the holster for you. But for me, it's not a big deal, so I don't mind it. I really would rather focus on ease of use.
What's also really cool is even if you take it to the range, that holster, as you can see, I'm perspiring quite heavily. That holster didn't get nasty or grody at all. You know, it stayed, you know, pretty dry. And that's surprising to most people when they use a sticky holster is how it keeps moisture away. Ironically enough, it doesn't get all sticky and gross. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do another live stream. But before I do, I want to do a quick recap of my sticky holster experience with the cutout for the red dot. I've been using it for about three and a half weeks now, and it's been a complete champ. Um, you know, I love sticky holsters. And honestly, I didn't really notice the difference between my past carry with the sticky holster with this one. I mean, this gun's a little bit bigger and the red dot sticks out just a little bit. But I'm really the only one that's conscious of it. You know, nobody, for me, it's not a big difference. It doesn't look any bigger and uh, it feels great. And I've used it probably about 20 days where I take it in and out, in and out. And um, oh, I actually have it on still. Let me do a safety check and check it out. I mean, it still looks phenomenal. It feels great. Um, I have no issues with this at all. Uh, if you like sticky holsters and you want to experiment and get like a red dot sight, this is really the route to go. I mean, it is phenomenal. The only issue I have, and it's not against the sticky holster, but when you carry concealed with a red dot, you get a lot of lint and stuff in your optic. So, got to break out this once in a while and kind of just clean out. There you go. Now you're good to go. It does get clogged up. I mean, uh, I've cleaned it twice in about four weeks, so uh, it gets lint and a, you know a little bit of stuff in there once in a while. But other than that, it's a champ. If you go to the Sticky Holster website, there's a whole bunch of different sizes to choose from, and they're relatively inexpensive between around $35 to $40 each. So it's not going to break the bank to try one. So this is my Sticky Holster review. I absolutely love it. Uh, huge fan. Not to say I'm, I'm not going to wear other holsters, but uh, just for the ease of use, running to the grocery store, throwing it in your pocket, throwing it on your hip, you can't go wrong with a Sticky Holster. Phenomenal product, phenomenal company, and I don't know. I'm a huge fanboy. What can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.